So we're gonna do something a little bit fun today and take a look at Windows XP in 2023. Windows XP is one of my favorite Windows operating system. I really did love this operating system. And I would say a lot of people would say it was one of the best operating systems. And as a matter of fact, people still use this somewhere around the world. And what I have here is my actual computer at that time. So I was using a virtual box to do this way back then. And so this was my computer back then. And let me see how old this is. And so Windows XP did come out in 2001. And if I look at some of the stuff that I downloaded at that time or some of the files that I have, so let me open this up and let's go ahead and take a look at the properties. So this is from 2009, <laughs> yeah, that's a while ago. And as you can see, I do have some programs here. I have VOC, this was also, yeah, 2009. And of course, at that time, you needed some type of antivirus program, you know, because it wasn't a matter of if you're gonna get a virus, it's just a matter of when. And for me, AVG was my favorite because it was free and it didn't bog down my system like no antivirus did. And what else do we have here? I actually have Open Office. And Open Office is awesome. <laughs> it's now called LibreOffice. And Open Office still does exist. It's just now owned by uh, Oracle. And so, um, yeah, it still works. It's crazy. And man, I just can't believe how old this program is. I have another program here, Zip Cleaner, Key Scrambler. I'm not really sure what that is. Yeah, all of this is from 2009. And obviously, I have way more powerful hardware. So if I go here and look at my properties, I am running Windows XP Professional Version 2002 Service Pack 2, yes. And I am running this in a virtual machine and so it can't like see all the specs, but right now I am running an Intel Core 12th Gen i7 12700K. That's kind of crazy that it still recognizes that. And it sees up to one gig of RAM. I have 64 gig of RAMs and at that time, one gig was a crazy amount of RAM for people to have. And so, yeah, wow, that's just so funny. This brings back so many memories. So there's VOC works. Let's look at some other things. So let's try Internet Explorer because, yeah, I don't think that's going to work. So let's go ahead and uh, try this and see if this works. Yeah, I can't get to Google. Let's see if we can get to Bing. And I don't really have uh, any plans of what I'm showing you. It's just nostalgia. I really do love this. And just really fun to see how far technology has come. So this browser is so old, it can't render any of these new web pages. Uh, but I could also try to ping it as well. So let's go ahead and go to open up a DOS prompt. <laughs> oh, man. This brings back so many memories. And whenever Windows XP came out, I was really excited like everybody else because this did follow right after Windows Me or Millennium Edition. So there it is, it's pinging, there's a reply. And Windows Me was an absolutely horrible version of Windows. I don't think anybody liked it. Uh, about the only thing that was worse than that or maybe around the same level was Windows Vista. Uh, I was not a fan of that. That came out after Windows XP, so yeah. It's just that the browser <laughs> no longer works. What else can I see here? Oh man, and I love this background screen. Everybody is familiar with this. Uh, you could also change it as well. Let's see what else we have. Oh man, this brings back so many memories. And the thing is, if you're <laughs> too young to use this, you know, I highly recommend that if you can, maybe find a way to get a version of this or emulate it or something. It just kind of shows you, you know, how far technology has come and kind of like the beginnings of or early beginnings of the current version of Windows that you're using right now. For anybody who's really interested, I'm really interested in this stuff. It's always fun to look back in the history. So, oh, there's a screensaver. <laughs> oh, I love this, man. That's so awesome. This is so cool to see all this stuff. I'm going to cancel that. And 
let's see what programs I had. I didn't really install a lot of things as, you know, you could probably tell if you've been watching my channel, I like to keep things really clean. And so in this case, I didn't have a lot of things installed on my computer at the time. And of course, Solitaire, who could forget that? Uh, let's see what else is here that I could see. And who knows what I was doing at the time that I had so few things on here. I normally probably had more software than this. So there's Outlook Express. Does this work? Yep, that works. <laughs> let's exit this. Great. Wow. Let's see what else we can see here. And the thing is, uh, whenever I did started using Windows XP, like most people, it was just like a revelation, you know, um, because before that we had Windows Me, as I mentioned, but then we had Windows 95. That was a huge shift. Here's Windows Media Player. And then we had DOS before that. Okay, so I started using Windows early on, since the beginning. And so I've seen the evolution and Windows 95 was a huge revolution. But when it got to Windows XP, I think that was the next step. And Windows Movie Maker, oh man. Windows Movie Maker is how I got started video editing. And I think most people who can remember using this, the original Windows Movie Maker, uh, they probably had their start here as well. <laughs> but unfortunately, it doesn't exist like it does before. So let's see what else. I really want to run some of these things um, in terms of like, yeah, like the browser. I would love to see that um, or even run some games on here. So... Yeah, I didn't have too many things. There's Zip Genius. And then uh, other things that I really did like about Windows XP was its simplicity, especially if you compare it now to modern Windows. It's just so confusing, even more confusing. And uh, Windows XP, everything was just really easy. It made sense. And at the time, I think it was pretty fast as well. There's Adobe Flash, if anybody remembers that. Adobe Flash was everywhere so these are all the programs that I have on here so I don't have much uh, but it did the job and yeah I really do miss all of this and check this out phone and modem options <laughs> oh man if anybody remembers having dial-up modems this is it let's see what's under portable devices no there's no compatible devices Windows Media Player 10 okay cool yeah let's open my computer not much else here, you know, uh, but it is a lot cleaner. It's nice to see that. Let's see what else. I, I don't know why I didn't have anything on here. It's so weird. Well, anyways. So that is just a quick, you know, look down memory lane with Windows uh, XP. One of my favorite uh, Windows version out there and it's also one of my favorite operating systems in general everything just works so well and, and I think it was pretty beautiful especially with this uh, green background everybody loved that background so that's it for this video if you actually had any thoughts on Windows XP or any other version of Windows that you enjoyed be sure to leave in the comments area below and if you did want to see more of my geek uh, videos i do have a whole bunch of playlists uh just check it out and if you did enjoy these videos as always be sure to share like and subscribe and we'll see you on another video for serious youtubers check out tubebuddy the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below